AJ that I want to be a wizard when I grow up. <laughs> Too much Harry Potter. <clears throat> want to be a wizard she when I grow up. She keeps saying every time somebody <laughs> says, every time she talks about somebody at work done this, something. <laughs> Every time somebody make her angry, she talk about, I need a wand. I need a wand. Where's my wand? Hey, you put some Patronum. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. We're hashtag. 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 hashtag the Cannons. CCTV. Welcome back to our eating show. Hi yeah. right, guys, today we're back with another video. And today, guys, today, this mukbang will consist of none other than some good old southern fried catfish. We got some candy yam going back, yes we do, that a money gets a bed. And we also got some green beans, some string beans. Your favorite. Whatever you want to call them. I actually do like them cooked fresh. <laughs> I think I'm getting a new, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Which you don't say. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, we're going to get into food in just a minute, but y'all wouldn't know it. Yes, then gonna hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give us that a thumbs up, like it. That's right, guys. Hit that button and hit, hit that, that bell. Hashtag the cans moving closer. I go up 50,000 subscribers. If you're new to this channel, I want to say welcome. Been here before. Welcome back. Y'all know the faves. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Y'all also don't forget to go and subscribe to our cooking channel. Link will be in the description box below. This is a new cooking channel. So far, I got uh, one recipe over there. So soon to have more. We have videos recorded. Also, got videos. Got this catfish recipe coming on over there. Got this candy yam recipe coming on. Y'all go on and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so y'all make sure y'all get our videos so we can get that thing rolling. Get it popping. Do it for your boy and your girl. Like, if you want to get your coldest water bottle, look in the description box below. Enter the code HOT for 10% off your entire order. All right, guys, that's enough talking. Time to eat. Bye, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you bless this food, Lord. Let me nurse our bodies. Bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Alright y'all, so oh, you yeah. eat the camp meal. Make sure. Ooh, mm -hmm. look at that, y'all. Look like a <laughs> I don't even know what it look like. Look good. It look like a good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm-mm. Y'all these candy yams. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> now I like my candy yams candy yams. Like a sweet like a pie, but you know, hey, it's like a it's, a, it's still a meal. Mm. Hey, like beans. Good. Y'all done messed up. Cause he can see now. I can focus everything now. <laughs> Y'all gonna get all that detail. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put it on everything. Oh. Franks. <laughs> I do. Just about. Mm -hmm. I can put it on Doritos. Oh. <laughs> I believe I've seen you do that. You did see me. <laughs> I got that. Y'all just don't pay no attention. Have some hot sauce. Hmm? I said, May I have some hot sauce? Thank y'all. I said, You can have whatever you like. Here you go. I won't hog it like you say I do. I apologize if I keep looking up. That's why I monitor is. I'm trying to train myself not to. Stop it. Get some help. This is uh Coke Zero. <laughs> Look at my eat. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, wait a minute. That's Watch it! The art to that, you know. You gotta know when to stop. Looks like you've learned it. I don't really do it good. Uh, it's the actual just going in at first. The form. It never flow over the top. <laughs> don't do that. Don't be uh making me out to be that person I ain't. I ain't one of them. Then. <laughs> oh, mm. that's good. Would you believe me if I said I? Mm -mm. Hey, look. Is that Miguel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did he get? Why he tripping? <laughs> Is it just me? It's Easter late this year, like later. Dream biker. Biker is normally like the first Sunday. Give me that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got my first two pieces of fish. I got hiding under here because I've been careless. <laughs> I dropped the top braid now. <laughs> Really, I was distracted. And I meant to be trying to check on something else. I hadn't even been trying to fish that long. And I put the tongs right in the pan and started moving around. I was like, oh, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> Not it. You're going to focus today now. It says you're going to talk that, talk that mess. I ain't focusing nothing. He was a bastard. Uh-uh. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. About time. Dang, look at that. Look at that drip on it, though. Mm. Dang, I'm definitely not the frame. <laughs> my neck. My neck. My back. My neck and my back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -mm. You wanted it? I what? You wanted it? I got my own. That's why I dropped. Mm-hmm. Because so, I wanted it. You wanted them. Some people can't never be satisfied with what they got. I always want somebody else to. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you don't be talking to folk like that. They're just talking to yes. And you like, what? Will you shut up? Why and shut your mouth like they did in Bird Box. Don't speak. Yeah, that need to be you. <laughs> just be quiet. Come. Um, Ugh, God. Y'all, yeah, man, I'm telling you right now. Be in right here. Mm -hmm. Bro. I don't know, Lane. Ooh. Huh? You come from your grandma. Oh, man, she's on Thanksgiving. I don't think I got no hand. Oh, man. We was late, honey. We didn't get much of nothing. Them Negroes ate on Thanksgiving, bro. Mm -hmm. They were a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Well, it was more than a little. It wasn't that late, man. <laughs> Man, they ate up. I mean, we always have a lot of food, so we had food. Like, we ate. Me and they were able to eat. But, yams gone. Out of here. I almost ain't getting no casserole. Potato casserole. <laughs> My Aunt Sheila, bro. You know, and she made this potato casserole, bro. It's, and she's, it's simple. She gave me a recipe before I can't even find it. But it's simple. But it's so good, bro. For years, I would not eat it. Okay. It had, she she garnishes on top of bacon, which that's not the problem. Mm. And then black olives. And I would always, when I was a kid, I always walk past it. I see them olives, I'd be like. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't think I want that. <laughs> Baby. You didn't know what you was missing. One year, my cousin told me, he said, you don't get no potato casserole? I said, no, I don't want that. He was like, well, you don't know what you missing, bud. I said, it's like that. He was like, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm going to try that potato casserole. Mm -hmm. I looked around like, 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What have I been missing? I didn't know what to do. I want to go sit in the corner. Mm -mm. But yeah, man. There you go right there. Ooh, wee. Y'all want to talk about an ultimatum a little bit? Maybe not to spoil it for some of y'all that haven't seen it. But if you have not, please go check it out. Huh. It's quite interesting. I never thought that I could watch something that has me on edge all the time. Dang, it's too much. It's too many awkward. Like, it's too many awkward situations. And because it is, we can call it a reality show, right? I mean, with that, you can, or a dating <laughs> show. I don't. It's between a reality dating thing. Anyway, when you watch stuff like that, sometimes you kind of put yourself in that situation. Like, how would you act? And so it's it's bringing out all my awkward. Like, I sit there and watch it like this. Like, <laughs> it's too much. Right, she really do. It's too much for me. I look over to her. She be like, I could not. It's too much. I was like, do you need your ribbon? Yeah, <laughs> something. I don't take really he over here. Um, <laughs> Just baby. So basically the premises <laughs> of the show is that The premises. Premise. <laughs> at it as is black folk. Um is that there is a couple. One of the persons is um giving an ultimatum to the other. Mm -hmm. And basically for three weeks they have to date someone else in the house and live with them while their spouse is with someone else oh, hell no. <laughs> which is already a no for me it's a no which is already stupid that was stupid before <laughs> that was dumb so crazy because who you at what is the point i might as well go ahead and them see. folks starting to get jealous and stuff i'm like this is just so dumb to me the whole reason why I think it's stupid is because I think it it adds doubt where there's no doubt. Right. The person who was given the ultimatum is already has their reasons for not wanting to be married. So now you, to me, I think you setting it up for it to be worse, and then you try to set it up also to put doubt in the other person's mind. Right. Which we know that we are humans. Why would you introduce an entity that was never there before? Not something no a one A whole was person for somebody to develop some type of emotion for that they didn't even know before. Right. And then sit here and go back and try to figure out whether they want to marry somebody. That's crazy to me. Foolish. I mean, to me, I think you have human whatever mm -hmm. in general. You're going to put somebody, you're going to go live with somebody as technically a single person that you probably are physically attracted to. Mm -hmm. That's just crazy. Why? Right. Why? Some people are made where they are never cheap. They ain't gonna never stray. No matter what, they rather just go ahead, say that piece and end something before they do something like that. Mm -hmm. No matter what. And some people, they might not be fighting. But they know what situation to keep themselves out of. Mm -hmm. And then you go and um, put people like that in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Those people, you know, the flesh is weak. <laughs> <laughs> and they willing. Not willing. No. Everybody's not the same. No. You got somebody feel somebody. A man maybe be married 25 years never cheated on his wife. But... That's not to say that if you ask him if he had the opportunity, like if um, if the opportunity was in in place years ago, we have done it. Mm -hmm. He might just be like, "Hey, I just know what to stay away from. I love my wife enough to not put myself in certain situations." I feel like you know, you have already been together, and you gonna somebody gonna get somebody an ultimatum, then you gonna go. That's just crazy. And I guess in my mind, like. 
when they work. Like I said, it never would work for me because I told AJ if that was us before we got married because they all in the same vicinity. They all at the same like pool patio thing. Just sit over there talking. I, I be through the bushes like, what the? It's so funny. <laughs> I don't see nothing he said that was that funny. You over here, Kiki? I uh, no. Okay, we're leaving. We're out of here. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. No. Cause I'll you're. Hey, bro, better not put your hands on. Hey, bro. Cause you cheating is already bad enough, but for you. To sit there and have to look at somebody, you know, kind of, I guess I can say loving on the the person that's supposed to be yours. Mm. 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 (laughs) It's a no-go for me. I'm not. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no ham. But that's why I was just like making me cringe. And then the worst part of the show sometimes is just like some of these people. I'm like, you is the other person you can't hear with at no. all. Because it's like the opportunity they get. That kissing. Like, no, it's just like that. And then it's just like whenever they're talking about their experience with the other person, to me, I feel like some of those people were just telling truthfully. I feel like some of those people were like saying stuff as in to take a jab at the person that they came with. Right. I'm but like, you came here with them. Like. <laughs> the show, first of all, it's yes. called the ultimatum. But it's not just an ultimatum. It's a mess. <laughs> Messy show. I feel like some of the other people are gonna go home, even if they decide to stay together. And everything from the show is gonna cause them to question even more than mm-hmm. what they were questioning before. It's always gonna be in the back of their mind, like what you, you know. For some people, it's like <laughs> to me, they're just using the show as a license to cheat. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And like that one person, she came there with no, she did not want this man, okay, when she came there. That's you what could I tell. Yeah. It was a mess. Most definitely tell. Oh, I told Danielle, I said, oh, she a hoe. From the very first interview. He did. Okay, I know a hoe out. She won. <laughs> and she already had her eye. She didn't even know what she was getting herself into as far as having to live with somebody else, and she already like, blah, 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 it's so sexy. I'm like, girl. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> You're supposed to be getting married. That's, that's the goal, is it not? But I was just tripping because before she ever even said any of that, she was just doing, they were just doing an open interview. I'm so-and-so, and I gave her ultimatum and this and that. <laughs> the way that her boyfriend leaned over and kind of kissed her and the way that she kind of shut that way. Body language is everything. I don't know why she would just do, but she want more penis. A different kind. She want to hop on a couple different more. And I went wrong. And then she said that, you know, she had been with him since she was 18, which makes it even worse. Like. And the whole time, See, we haven't finished it, but no. what we have seen, the whole time she was with the guy that she chose to um, stay with for three weeks, she, all the other couples are like talking about their relationships they were in, saying what they were looking for in relationships and why they wanted to get married, why they, you know, they had kids, if they wanted kids in the future, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Saying the things that were like wrong in their relationships and what they really wanted and this and that. This hoe did not want to talk about her. Let's talk about us in our no. future. <laughs> she, she wanted to talk about them, but she was more concerned with having sex. Yes. Everybody else was like trying. To me, I felt like as hot as it was, mm-hmm. and when you stand like everybody else, I felt like was trying not to do too much. Like they were really trying to stay like non-physical mm-hmm. in that way. But that's all she wanted. I said, man, look. You need to leave. And then she got mad with her. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no more. It's Cause you gonna tell it. Watch her. She a hoe. Not yeah, she a, a hoe. hoe. I, know. <laughs> I know a hoe when I see one. You a crackhead. And I'm just like, who I deal with this? And why did y'all agree? A trip, bro. Mm-hmm. 
So throw this show in the dumpster. I go from 90 days to this. Oh. It's crazy, bro. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. Hold on, like. <laughs> Some of these people was like, I didn't want to go on the show in the beginning with. Honey, this was your idea. And they out here living life. <laughs> they act like they wanted to come. <laughs> like they knew what was going to happen. They ever came to me with that. Oh, okay, you got me. Got me fucked up. You. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, I got your ultimatum. I am selfish. What's wrong with the ultimatum itself? Either, you know what I'm saying? If you get to the point where you feel like you got to get somebody an ultimatum, why do you have to go be extra? <laughs> why? Why can't they just comply or not? They just where you at? That's crazy. <laughs> That's true. And then this one couple that they did not come there together. They just really make me go through because I think it's because I like I like to see people in love or like you know enjoying each other, and they were like genuinely enjoying each other. But I'm like, this is so wrong with us. <laughs> This is not your person. <laughs> you over here and I met this random man and you are just like, you know, I mean, she she looked like she was a 16 year old who had first fell in love. That's what they both look like, yeah. him and her. And I'm like, I like to see it, but this is wrong. Like, <laughs> Yeah, considering the fact that, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. The show is crazy. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, none of it makes sense for somebody who is uh, looking to get married. Right. Because it's I feel show. like, if, right. I yeah. feel like if you were to do this in real life, nobody is going to, whether you stay with the person you were paired with or not, you are not going to, you're going to walk out of this alone. Because I, I don't know how. You could then go back home and be like, yep, I'm ready to get married after I done see mm. you kiss past tissues under the sheets. All kinds of... <laughs> All right. kinds of got butts in that's, the phone. That's another thing. That's another thing. Butts in the phone. That's another thing. But they gonna take their happy ass home and they gonna turn on TV to watch it. They gonna see stuff they never knew about. That's going to cause a rip right there. That's going to end it. Because home, homegirl show ain't so she was uh, beating her, she was uh, jacking homeboy off under the sheets. A uh, son going to pass a tissue in the lab. She did. I washed her hand. Oh my God. <laughs> they were out here meeting folks' parents. I said, throw this show away. Right. Why is it? Why? Let me to me, I feel like the whole concept of the show is to kind of push people apart. Right. If there's, I, there's no way the same person who these people didn't want to be in the relationship. No, <laughs> I'm this one. I'm stuck my story. I'm, I'm to like, <laughs> shut up. If I was to bring some random man home, and Tick my mom had met you, shot. and my mom had met you, she'd be like, where is they? What are you doing? Where AJ loading this damn shot now? Uh-uh! Where is he at? Well, who is bullet. this man? About to put a bullet in all y'all ass. I ain't gonna kill you. But you ain't gonna, damn it, you gonna, every time you sit down, you gonna think of me. Cause I'm putting two bullets, pow, pow, left cheek, right cheek. <laughs> every time you go to the bathroom, you gonna think of me. He goes, ooh. Ooh. Ew! Something for you to think about. You mean something for yeah, me? Take your ass out here. I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna put a bullet in both your ass cheeks, though. I am not a cheater. <laughs> I'm delivered. Your ass gonna look like two deflated biscuits. Biscuits deflate. <laughs> <laughs> they can. Does nobody else. <sighs> hey, hey. I got food. Hold better. it, Ben. Hold it. Don't nobody else uh, suggest any shows or movies that's gonna make me be on edge. Don't do nothing else where I got to be on edge for six hours. Cause that's what that was me yesterday. I stayed up till one o'clock trying to watch this. It's too much. Stupid ass. 
Why the hell? Did you put it down. Okay, man. I don't want you to feed me. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> I don't know what you about to do. I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing thumbnail. You shoved the ill. Put it down. <laughs> why, why do you got to stand like a Greek god? Like, <laughs> ew. Like this. Put your neck in your shoulder. Like this. Put that yam yeah, down. Put it down. I'm gonna say this one last thing and then we're gonna go. I told AJ that I wanna be a wizard when I grow up. Shut up. Too much Harry Potter. <coughs> wanna be a wizard she when keeps I grow saying, up. Every time somebody <laughs> says, every time she talks about somebody at work done this, <laughs> every time somebody make her angry, she talks about I need a wand. I need a wand. Where's my wand? You put some Patronum. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just zap, which AJ said that they would lock me up and take my wine. Mm-hmm. So I'd be the prisoner. He be in there looking dusty and dirty. <coughs> oh, he's still trying to cast spells on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> <Looking> dumb. <coughs> I said, I, I said, there's laws everywhere you go. There's rules or something. I, I'd just be chilling. If I was with it, don't nobody mess with me. I ain't gonna mess with you. I'd be sitting here filling my cup. Uh uh. Be chilling, bro. I'm ready to zap a hoe. <laughs> okay, zap, zap. Oh, so full. Yes. Was it good? Delicious. I could have ate them yams alone. They were so good today. Mm hmm. Woo. I got this thing with yams. Yeah, sometimes I used to not mess with them because they be like mushy. And so I that like is soccer. like a good, you do. I kind of like, not too but bite, I like them but, whole though. Yeah. I like some of them to break up, but some people, the problem when they cook them is they agitate them too much. That's when they cook what, them longer. And then so I feel like I'm spooning. Yeah, some people, they be and broke the, all the way down. Mm -hmm. See, like I break mine down, but when they get to a certain point, I flip them intentionally trying to keep pieces whole because I don't want because the problem is when you keep cooking them anyway the more the sugar gets in there eventually if you keep moving them like that and they break all the way down all you're gonna taste is just sugar mm-hmm you're yeah. not gonna get the potato I don't like when they like almost soup like they <sighs> nah, that's too this much. close to soup so I like yeah. yours because they you know got a little integrity to them oh yeah granny's mm -hmm. is good I I could, Man, at one point, bush. I couldn't get mine to get like a sweet. Mm -hmm. No matter how much sugar I put on the outside, it's an art to it because I could not get them to get like the outside would be sweet, but the inside would be so potatoy. Mm -hmm. Even if it broke it down, but I'm you got there. it, boy. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I'm about to go because I'm uh, just full. I'm just full. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know, but it's, I'm full. Peace. Oh, 1999. <laughs> right, everybody posing like this in their pictures. All the girls. <laughs> Them lips. <Ugh>. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand a duck lip. Shut up. up. Those are my favorite. Oh, uh, uh, posing, posing with the peace sign and some Jordache jeans from Walmart. Not Jordache. <laughs> baby fit. Yeah, some Jordache jeans. And the Oh, <clears throat> we done found some true religions at uh at Goodwill, and then they don't fit right. They high waters, but just because sure, they got uh, that, just because they got that, that anyway. you in school flooding. What do y'all want? What you got on your butt? I mean, <laughs> it's true religion. That's what you don't got. It's truly the water is truly rising. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we gonna get up out of here. Y'all know when I get full like this, I be struggling. I'm trying to think about what I was gonna say next. <laughs> we about to leave. Thank y'all for joining us today. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Remember to share this video. Share it out with anybody. Everybody can share this. Can care about us. Care about us, guys. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Please, please. If you haven't already, go over to the. Oh, we got 39,000 of y'all, bro. So. If you're under the sound of my 
boys. Uh uh, church. The unction. <laughs> Please, I'm <laughs> unction you to go and subscribe to our cooking channel. I promise you guys that I'm going to roll recipes out the same way that I roll these videos over here. I already have, I'm racking up videos as we speak. I just don't want to, <clears throat> when you kind of buy my two channels, you want to make sure that you can, you know, I want to release videos without having to be record here, record here, record here. So they coming. I just ask y'all to just go on over there. I got the beer recipe. Next video is going to be a Tuscan um, ravioli soup that I made. It's coming out. So y'all please go over there and subscribe and support us in that way. Because after all, y'all requested this channel. <laughs> so I want y'all to show out. Show up. Boy, man. Show up and show out. Right, oh, church. Um, I was gonna say happy Easter, but it's too early for that. So no, I have nothing. <laughs> the resurrection. Happy Good Friday. But bye. And say put that down. That was like a coochie. Now say bye. <laughs>